Another big feature of the square is the first square ever to put a seat pivot on there. So now we can do a seat cut with one step. So we've added a second pivot point onto the square and a seat cut scale over here, which references the hypotenuse side, the 45 degree side of the triangle. This edge here is 41% longer than the uh, square side. The old way that we used to use for a 712, let's say we're going to do a 712. Seat cut is we would square wherever our mark would be. That would want our seat cut to start at. We would line up our square and draw a square mark to make sure that we don't move anything. We would come in here and then mark right on the 712 common. And then when we pivot, that gives us the opposite seat cut to our 712. Now, instead of going that way, all we have to do, let's say here is where we want to start our seat cut. We come here, we line up our pivot point, our seat pivot point, and then we just pivot and line up that 712 with the edge of the lumber. So seat pivot here, seat scale here, edge of the lumber, and now this edge here in one quick and easy step, there's your long seat cut. And as you can see on a 712, you can get across a full two by six already. Look how well balanced the square is versus having it way over here. With your seat cuts, we can go from a 112 all the way up to a 1212. All with the same easy quick reference measurement. So 1212 obviously is a 45 degree. There's your 1112 seat cut, your 812 seat cut, all the way up to your 112 seat cut in one quick and easy step.